Hello, and welcome to Backseat uh, Retro Roulette, actually. It's the other white meat. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane ford Joan. Hey. And Ashley Miller. Hi. And Billy Carter. Hi. And we're playing some N64 games today. Hopefully not bad ones. Um, There's some interesting picks on the wheel. Hopefully we'll find out sooner or later. Uh, let's spin this bad boy and see what we're playing first. Oh, we're looking like we're being joined by Jason your... Amherst also at the start here. Uh, Dane, my, how's your theater a notification. Going? What's that? My phone did not give me a notification, which was weird. Hmm. That is weird. Plus 64. It's like the only RPG on the system. Pretty much. Also, uh, there is a banger account on freaking Twitter that just posts the funniest freaking memes. Keltland, an, agi an agical, where agical, agical, I, sorry, I had a stroke. Keltland, where the... Boston Celtics play. That's right. How did you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's... Hear ye, hear ye, his royal highness, Harry I, I just, Bird, I don't like the, I don't like the Boston Celtics, but they're cool. Neither okay. do I. Is that, is that a reason to be, uh, is that a reason to be depressed, though? <laughs> uh, be, well, because the Celtics are, like, first place, and they're probably going to win the NBA title. Do you need a hug, uh -oh. Dave? No, no, no. What about a? Would you, you wanna, like a? Would you like a Alabama hot pocket? I would most certainly not. <laughs> no. Do you do you want a beer? You you know what I want, Ashley? I want you to shut your Twinkie Tittens fart box up. <laughs> Jesus, oh, honey, man. I don't have Twinkie Tits. I don't have Twinkie, Twinkie Titties. Titties. Dane, do you want a old buck, a little old Hucklebuck? You know what I want? Do, do, do you want to know what I want? Well, do you? Yeah. The Knicks to make the, yeah. the championship? I I want you to show Ronaldo my toolbox. Okay. <laughs> for, okay. For my birthday. <laughs> for my birthday. <laughs> for my birthday. I... Hey, the latest member of the 2024 Hall of Fame class for WWE. Vince Russo. <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson. Thunderbolt Patterson? Really? I saw a thing. That, I, it must have yes. been a joke, but I saw a thing that said Vince Russo is getting inducted. <laughs> I, I don't know why they would even entertain that idea. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I, But it looked like it looked legit, but I must not have been. <laughs> no. Well, Thunderbolt Patterson is a legend. Yeah, I mean but you're not I'm gonna sure know. Even... I was gonna say you're not gonna know everybody that goes into just the Hall. Really of Fame. obscure. Yeah, you can't just. I'm sure ninety percent of the current WWE audience is like, who? Oh. I now, mean, for oh. us, now, now for us, you know, diehards. Yes, we know who Thunderbolt Patterson is. Uh, can I be completely honest with you? I. I know the name Thunderbolt Patterson, but I couldn't tell you one thing that he did, unfortunately. Uh, he was just, you know, your typical 70s wrestler. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as Dane, but the difference is, is I don't know who Thunderbolt Motorboat is. <laughs> Thunderbolt Motorboat. You know, Thunderbolt Motorboat. <laughs> I don't know who Thundercock Twisty Pants is. That's me. That's my nickname. No, I know. I know no. you wanted. I know. I know you wanted to forget. I know you wanted to forget about it. But you bringing it up gives me the right to notify you that that's my nickname. I wasn't going to say I anything. Thought your name was... Actually, your I nickname is. Your is... name was Lightning. Your Crash nickname is Twinkle Baby Shoes. Why is my nickname Baby Shoes? Because you have tiny little feet. That is 
demonstrably false. <laughs> I have big hairy feet. <laughs> that is true. I've seen his feet. Uh, yeah, Billy jerked, have Billy been, jerked okay. off to him. You know what they about big hairy feet? Big hairy cop. The heat. Exactly. Big hairy feet. Man. And what's really yeah. weird about Mike, when we were in New York, Mike actually asked me, he's like, Bill, I can't fall asleep unless my feet are lubed up. Could you lube my feet up? I'm yeah. like, oh, Lord, I guess I should. We used to we I, do a whole bottle of Ben Gay just to make that happen. Yeah. Are you are you fucking with me right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cause I was starting to really question our friendship. Yes, I'm just screwed with you, man. <laughs> I and thought you were going to be like, like... That's why we made, Wink baby oil. That's why we made Winkleman baby oil. sleep on the floor to, just for that reason. <laughs> you know, cause I thought you were going to pull like a Tarantino. Like, Bill, can, that, you, suck, <laughs> like, can you suck on my toes, that, Bill? That and Winkleman was drunk 90% of the time he was there. But, you know, I think Winkleman was drunk that, 90% of his life, I think. <laughs> that's yeah. true. I think... No. I think even... He slept on the floor speak, because he wanted the AC, but... I think as we that, speak, he's probably drunk. Probably, I wouldn't. That, I, I wouldn't. Want any, I wouldn't bet against it. That, I don't want anybody in my bed because no. I got a pet peeve against the, 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 that. You got a pet that peeve. That nobody would have been able to fit in the bed with me at that time. Mm. <laughs> that was it pretty big. Like, it would be like trying try. to sleep with a snor. It would be like trying to sleep with a snorlax. I was a rather large so, man at that time. Brief announcement, although it'll probably be uh, they'll probably be airing by the time uh, you see this. Um, although I might I don't I might just cut this out and make it a short, so I can air it, so I can put it up quickly so that the announcement can be more timely. But um, so I've decided uh, the last <sighs> the last year and a half worth of mental casts. Are going to be re-airing on the channel. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! Starting with around episode four hundred and seventeen or eighteen or so. So we're roughly talking right mid January or February of twenty sixteen. Oh my god! That was when we restarted it. No, that is not when we restarted it. That's the last year of the original run. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the restart yeah. was in twenty nineteen. <laughs> Oh yeah. No, this oh, was this um, is 2016 speaking... before the because the, the 10 year anniversary was the final episode of the original run in 2017. That's so right. The was. episodes I'm talking about are around the time Jason starts his incredible Jokerty run. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to relive Jace winning Jokerty 1200 weeks in a row. <laughs> that he did. He went almost undefeated. Yeah, Chelsea actually eventually beat him. He had a couple of co-champions in between then and then. I think Dane was a co-champion at one point. I but, was champion at one point. Uh, but Chelsea finally beat him in like I, I don't I, I want to say it was like May of 2016. He was champion for several months, <laughs> and he was because he was champion. He was on the show for several months to the point where we were like, just make him a regular. Which he eventually became anyway, so it's fine. And we did, so it was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, in so... addition, in addition to this, um, I have found pretty much every episode of the original of the uh, of Wrestle Riffs. Oh Lord! Uh, so those will re-air at some point if I can find the original matches that we riffed. Uh, I might include them uh, if I can, of course. Obviously, there could be copyright issues, but um, I will try to include those as much as I can. Also, going to try, I'm going to probably try to re air uh, select episodes of Dartboard Cinema. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, Ashley would be happy to hear that because she was on that show, she was very heavily involved with that show. Yeah, um, but, but the show originally it, aired. It I'll, originally aired on Geek Juice, and then it moved to uh, my site afterwards. So, so it's basically a mental original. Uh, Alejandro, I'm going to start. I'm going to start re-airing select episodes of Who's in My Mouth. Nice. Can't wait for the one where you uh, interview Brian Dennehy. 
You want to start <laughs> airing episodes of Dollar Bill Reviews? I don't have any of those. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, Brian Denny. Oh, oh, God. Yes, and then we're going to have new content called the uh, pre-workout where uh, uh, people spit pre-workout into my mouth to motivate Ew. me. Look, they spit that's pre a new... into your mouth? <laughs> it's a pre pre-workout. I don't know why people start these weird... Look, there's been a weird a of craze a of, of like things lately. Like... There's even some where women are like, he gets mad when I ask if I can hold it while he pees. And I'm just like, why would you hold your man's dick while he's pissing? Ew. Hey, Ashley, I'm going to need you to stop talking. I'm going to need you to realize that I was kidding. Well, that's that's an awfully wacky thing to do. Latest bag. Thanks, Bill. What the fuck is that? It's a hellhound. That looks like a d weird Jurassic dog. <laughs> Shit. How so could yeah, you miss? There, you there were some right Prime N64 memes on uh, the Twitter account for Quest64 Official. There's there's just some great funny shit on there. Do I not have any? My no. eyes All right, cool. Can you pull eating. plants? Can you eat plants? I don't know. Nope. No, this apparently you can. Very underrated. You could bounce on your yeah. heels, I guess. That so there you go. That's that's the plan is to. Uh, re-air uh, older episodes of Metal Cast, Wrestle Riffs, and Dartboard. The biggest reason for that is I that I, I was able to log back into the mix cloud where most of that shit is. So. Oh my god. <laughs> I was... I... When we did the riff of the Raw Rumbles, those are some of my favorites. Uh, that wasn't Wrestle Riffs, that was Slam. I, well, I know that, I'm just saying general when uh remember remember we did that one match with the, the human uh blimp no he was that one guy with the real saggy boobs oh yeah i think i remember that that was also brian dennehy strangely yeah i think it's one of brian dennehy do, 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 do. So, speaking of last from the past, <laughs> I am um, a I prolific talked... character actor who died in 2020, Brian <laughs> who was in such fine motion pictures <laughs> as First Blood and Silverado and Cocoon. Ooh. <laughs> He was also in Speaking Tommy of... Boy, apparently. Yeah, he was in well, Tommy Boy. He quick. was also in Mel. Uh... Well, he played he Tommy Boy's presumed... dad. Oh, yeah. He was also in Presumed Innocent. Which is actually a really good crime drama. Okay. Well, it had Harrison Ford and Raul Julia. Harrison Ford? Damn, you're a you're, a you're in bad fucking shape, my guy. Quick, find the town whore to heal you. Oh I my god. That. Oh boy. Oh dear. There was no simpy. No, evidently not. Well, back to the old drawing board. Yep. Back to the old dribble dooble. Well, uh, speaking of blast from the past, I talked to uh, Alexis Jowski. Did you? It's just random. 
Yeah, just random conversation, you know. I <laughs> wanted to check on her and see how she was doing. Uh-huh. And um, I had asked her a question, you know, what the hell happened to Geek Juice? And she just <laughs> said, you know, I like the, the, the leasing for it came up and she just kind of fell out of love with it. Hmm. And all I could think of was, oh, okay. I mean, they recently started doing uh, G- Geek Juice Radio again, uh, not too long ago. But like, it's just it's just hosted by uh, probably I think SoundCloud. So, but yeah, the site yeah the site doesn't exist anymore. I he uh, uh, she had originally uh, left and these. left the site to you know who and yeah they kind of the yeah. the person she left it to kind of. Ran that place into the fucking ground. I'll be honest. No, um, really? Yeah. Why? You mean the fucking untalented piece of shit ran it into the ground? Yeah. Oh. I, know, I know. I know. Ah, yeah. But it's yeah, and it's unfortunate too. You know, I, I kind of, I felt slighted by the whole thing just because I was, I work very closely with Ale- uh, with Alexis during the. During the uh, earlier days of Geek Juice, um, yeah, like I was responsible for a lot of helping run the place, run the certain set, run the podcast yeah, section of the site. Like, if you saw if you saw a new post on a podcast uh, on the site, for the there's a couple year period where that was me that did that. Um, Jowski always had me come on uh, game streams all the time, so. Oh yeah, I was like we're very, very closely very closer with them too. I was very closely associated with Geek Juice, and uh, once once Mister X became a part of Geek Juice, uh, my association became less and less involved as Mister X. Uh, yeah, that was just probably not a smart idea to go out into the world with one HP. Um. As 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 after Mr. X joined the site, like my involvement became min- less and less, uh, because uh, Mike Robinson tried to force his way into a position of power, and unfortunately, that is forced true. a few people out. Um, it, basically, including Alexis herself. Really, I don't blame Alexis for any fucking thing that happened bad at Geek Juice because, um. She was just as much a victim of the circumstances as, oh, as any, oh, everybody definitely. else was. Um, I feel like bringing bringing Mr. X into the fold was a gigantic mistake. Because he tried to take over, he tried to power trip uh, his way into running the site. And when he did finally get his hands on running the day-to-day operations of the site, look what happened to it. It became... Uh, all about basically, him. yeah, it was basically Mr. X site part two. He already had his own website. He didn't need a, a second one. Um, and, and honestly, as a contributor, like I wasn't really a fan. I was never like too much of a fan of his work. Like, I never watched one video of his. I, I don't. He put. He worked all the time. He was like me. He worked all the time, and he did the very most like minimal content. He basically like live stream reactions, and that's all he really did for the site. He didn't do anything other than he wrote a couple articles here and there, but like most of the work was being done by the rest of us. Like Alexis put a lot of work into Geek Juice. I put oh, a lot of work into Geek Juice. Mister X did not deserve to be there. I'm just gonna put it very bluntly. He did not deserve to be there. He should not have been involved with the site. The minute he became involved with the site, it was basically inevitable until he forced enough people out to run the site. And once he ran the site, he ran it into the ground. If it had still been Alex, Alexis and me and, and Kevin Daly and Charlie McMullen running things, Geek Juice would still be around. Bar none. Absolutely. And thriving. Yeah. But all the people I named, including myself, left basically because of him. I remember when all that happened. It was, you're like, when we were talking, 
And you're like, I can't freaking stand that guy because I got onto the call and that's the first thing I heard. I went, what are you talking about? You're like, Mr. X. I said, what happened? Because I had been out of the fold for a little bit because of work. This is when I was working at at FedEx. And uh, you started just unloading on me. I mean, not, you not, know, because not I did anything you. wrong. Yeah, not you on were venting. you. I vented. You were, yeah, you were venting. And I'm like, okay, what what's going on? And then you went on this... Lack of a better word, a tirade, and I was you're, you're like, you were you were like, he's taking advantage of Jowski. He's taking advantage he is, of he his was. mental. Uh, uh, at the time, his mental state at the time, when 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 you know That's, when Jowski identified as, a, as as a man at the time. Yes. So you this so when uh, you're saying he's he's it taking was, advantage it was of his mental there, state. It was a point there where like towards the end of his involvement with Geek Juice, he was going by. What was then his legal birth name? Yeah. It wasn't even Alex Jowski. He was going by Matthew, which was his birth name. Yeah. Yeah. And then but, and then no, he, no. and then she transitioned into Alexis Jowski after so a, a period yeah. of time after this Jesus, is, but Yeah, so so I'm not dead naming anybody. So this is this is years ago. Yeah, I'm not so. I wasn't dead naming anybody either. I was just explaining a situation where where you yeah. might you might have understood how where where Alexis's mind was at the time, and it definitely was wasn't not on juice. in a good was no, not in a good state at the not. time. Um, had a lot of home <laughs> troubles. And I don't know what, but she told me at the time what was going on, and I'm like, "Oh, that sucks, dude." Yeah, and, but I want to make it perfectly clear: I never have any. I never ever have had any ill will or any ill feelings towards Alexis Jowski. Uh, in, involves a. Uh, regarding how he ran or how she ran geek juice and uh uh all of that i never Good had boss. any ill will i i i've never i haven't talked to her in a while but like i don't she she still follows me on x i don't even though i don't get on there anymore um she still follows me here and there like and i still follow her here and there and i, I I have a feeling like she would tell you probably the same things that I that I'm saying at at, at present. The, the, there's got to be at one point that we got to bring her on, and just let her vent. Us, let her vent and let's you know record. And, and I know like, do a show. About and I also it. I also know that like Dane has had issues in the past with Alexis, but the fact of the matter is, it's like I I can't I cannot blame Alexis because most of the problem lied with Mister X. Oh yeah, like I said, Dane's, the time, Dane's, Dane's vile and venom for Mister X is absolutely one hundred percent legit, and he will tell you that. Oh, it's warranted. Yes. It's all warranted. I've never stopped him from from spitting it because I know Dane's right. <laughs> oh, uh, but, but let's. Oh, oh my God, let, yeah. Uh, let's get, we're getting off the wagon here real quick. Uh, thoughts on Quest sixty four, Dane? Um, that wasn't really that. Excuse me. I wasn't really that impressed. But then again, I'm not a uh, RPG guy for the most part, so That's fair to maybe say. I'm just feeling like I'm biased towards. But it was just eh, kind of boring. Okay, uh, Jason. You know, it's like the only RPG from what I can remember on the N64. I think Ogre Battle was on 64 as well. Oh yeah, ogre battle. Yeah, yeah, ogre battle. But I consider that a tactical RPG, like RPG, but tactical by comparison. So it's like this one was more of a like traditional turn-based like RPG. That's so fair. yeah, it's it, it's it's weird. You know, it's a cult classic. The memes are great, um, but like the PlayStation bulldozed. The N64 in the RPG category. The PlayStation Between bulldozed Atlas the and... N64 in a lot of aspects. <laughs> Not just this category. Yeah, I mean, like... If, if there's one thing that the N64 did decently, weirdly enough, despite not having a second control stick, it was actually 3D platformers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Okay. Uh, Ashley. I kind of felt like they threw you into the deep end without much to go on or or even much help. Like, 
a lot of those battle systems, they seem simple, but like, dude, where's the fucking health pickups? Where's, where's I'm the... I'm sure there's a shop I missed at the, some point that I could have bought health pickups, but whatever. I mean, would I like to I see more of it? Long haul. <laughs> well, we we kind of got sidetracked by by geek juice shit, which you which know we can continue uh, that's talking about bad. once we get into the next game. I just wanted to stop and make sure we got through this segment first. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing you play a little bit more of this, and I wouldn't mind trying it out myself. But um, it's it's like, yeah, it was a scraper, right? Billy. Uh, it's not my thing. Fair enough. Yeah, it's not really my thing either. I'm not really an RPG guy. It's fine. It controls fine. Battle system is fine. It is it's it is a simple battle system. That's why it's easy to pick up and play. Uh, but yeah, it's just not my thing. Scores out of 10, Dane. Two. Jason. Six. Uh, Ashley. Six. Billy. I'll give it a four. I'm going to go right down the middle and give it a five. Okay, so now let's uh, get into the second game of the episode. Let's spin it and see what we get. Spin it, so, it and lick it. So the reason Ooh, why I had stuff. partially disappeared... Uh, why I had partially disappeared during the last episode is um, my mom was drawing my attention. To, oh, ooh. Yeah. My mom was drawing attention to something. Yes. Uh, my neighbors are outside trying to fly a kite. All right, I'll be right back, guys. That's interesting. It's dangerous. Go fly a kite. <laughs> it's dangerous because it was an adult and two children trying to fly a kite, and I can hear thunder outside. And yes, I fucking love this game. Yeah, this is this is good stuff right here. Yeah, this, I've, this I've one. always been a uh, a rampage fan. I I, I played. Cause I remember back in MVG Live, we actually beat uh world uh the SNES one like in one sitting. It was a lot of fun. Uh, NES. There was no rampage on SNES. Are you sure? Definitely sure. No, I think this was an N64 only game. There there was an NES game and then completely skipped a generation. Do, went straight was to it on N64. Genesis, maybe? Might have been Genesis. Um It was an arcade cabinet though. I do remember playing this in the arcade. Um Because I swear there we, was a Genesis release. I'll just say that must have been it. Because there was because uh, uh, we we did system. play through Master and beat. System. It, it wasn't on Genesis. No, not on Genesis. What the fuck Master game, system. What the fuck rampage game did we beat on stream? Because I know we did. It had to have been either NES or Master System because there was no 16-bit rampage. It was an 8-bit game. 8-bit or arcade. And then they jumped straight to uh, 64. Well, 64 slash PlayStation. Whoa. I I have it on the NES. I have it on my Game Boy, and I have it on my uh, Sega Master System, and yep. my Atari 2600. Two mega power. Oops. Made Sega Master System made myself sick. That version on the Sega Master System is actually really good. It has all three characters. Uh, yeah, the yeah. NES one doesn't. The NES Nobody. didn't. So now what? You just gotta keep scrolling to the right. You gotta keep bouncing on that one building right there. Oh, there we go. He has more movement in the PlayStation version. Kankakee. What kind of fucking name of a city is that? Alright. Whoa! 
I guess I, I guess I don't. I guess I don't have much more to say about. Oh, uh oh, she's nude. I, I guess I don't have much more to say about uh, Geek Juice other than the fact that it was like it could have gone so much better without certain people involved. It was, it was on its way to become something good. Then, Mister X is like, "Let's make our own porn review website." It's like, really, dude? That's not the spirit of Geek Juice, man. Oh, hey, Rampage World Tour. Yeah. Yep, this one was a good one. This one no, was a this good was a, one. This was a good one. This, this, is a, this most this definitely is a, was a good one. This is especially good when you have multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is yet another... Uh, this is yet another game that's freaking lost in the vaults because of freaking Warner Brothers. Oh, Sons of Vision. Yep. This and Gauntlet. Oh. Oh, wait, wait till, wait till Mike gets the Gauntlet or Gauntlet Dark Legacies. I will fucking fangirl well, the, out. Dark Legacy was uh, PS2 uh, and uh, GameCube. Gauntlet uh, was uh, the original game on N64 and uh, Dreamcast. I remember playing Gauntlet on the N64, and I remember playing Dark Legacy. I love Dark Legacy. Yeah, Dark Legacy. Uh, it's it's funny too when you look at the uh, used prices. Dark Legacy on uh, GameCube goes for the highest price because the GameCube version came out last and uh, had a few quality of life features that weren't in the other versions. Well, I do know they had new characters. But as well, you uh, the GameCube version the game. let you uh, let you activate and deactivate power ups whenever you wanted. Oh yeah. So uh, I remember that. Yeah, GameCube version you could like turn on anti death and like freaking have that whenever you wanted, basically. I think my favorite part of Rampage World Tour had to have been uh, the little bonus levels where you fly on the uh, plane. To uh, other countries. Yeah. Great impression, Billy. That's the impression of an airplane, apparently. Yeah. Did you have Dane? Did you have anything you wanted to say about the Geek Juice stuff? Nope. Nope. Okay. Makes me too fucking angry. That's fair. It, it is a sore. I, it is, it's a sore spot for all of us, basically. What really hit? Um, what really just, hurt me the most uh, was the. Right at, like, there was a point where I was posting Mental Cast episodes exclusively to Geek Juice. I made the show exclusive to Geek Juice because I believed in the site so much. And near the end of my tenure there, they decided, oh, nothing exclusive, nothing that's not exclusive to Geek Juice, which meant Mental Cast had to leave the site. Which really that and that and that was why... that was a I want to point out by the way that was not an Alex Jowski directive that was a Mike Robinson directive. So that, that it just pissed me off and that uh, that was also the end of Geek Juice Gaming Live when I hosted it. Like I was like all in on making all my shit exclusive to Geek Juice and they... oh eat that guy eat that guy I was that was the oh, one. That was the show that I was involved in. Well, if you bounce on the building, you could actually, like, get that guy. Well, it's too late now. Yeah. <laughs> Greasies. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And that's, you wonder... That was, the, that was the worst part of the whole ordeal. Ooh, ooh, destroy the, uh, destroy the, uh... Well, first get rid of the just... freaking tank. The only thing I'll say about it is I, I am disappointed at what happened. Also, you kind of wonder why Dartboard Cinema decided to leave Geek Juice when that was, we did. It was the same time as the, as the Metal Castle left Geek Juice. We all kind of saw the writing on the wall at to... that point. Yeah. We, we knew something was up, and we just decided, you know what, let's just... Let's just leave. Because eventually, I think they would have kicked us out. 
but like I said, it's so bad. It's so sad that like I did. I gave a lot to that site and put went all in on trying to, you know, champion that site. And the one person that was involved with it decided they didn't want me part of it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So That's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy. In that case, in that case, subscribe to Jabinski. Yep. Oh, sweet. There's a billboard for a world tour. Yep, which means yes. it's going to hide tourists. Well, uh, no, nah, the, the world tour means that you can go, like, other places. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Next stop, England. How oh, I say, is that called Zebra? <laughs> Damn, oh. you're getting shot to shit. I always wonder, oh, wait, eat that radiation can. Nah, those actually don't do shit. Aw, I thought I turned you into a gargoyle. No, there's a different power-up that does that. And I don't think it was in this game, it was in the sequel. Oh yeah, that's right, if you stay in the water too long, you start losing health. Yeah, you drown. Gary, totally destroyed. Gary. I mean, you uh, could have... You could have... You you, uh, Gary totally destroyed, you could just say that now, like, honestly. <laughs> Gary, Indiana? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it would have been an improvement. Liverpool. I think you actually, I think you actually destroyed Dayton, Ohio, too. Yeah, you start off in Ohio. They uh, they were well ahead of the uh, curve with the Ohio no. meme. What are you talking about? Oh the game started in Peoria. Or Illinois. Illinois. Well, whatever. They started off in the Midwest. Oh my god, look what the monsters did to Newark. They haven't gotten here yet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look what the monsters did to Haiti. They haven't, they haven't gotten, gotten here yet. yet. It's, it's, oh. it's been like this for quite some time. I, I actually heard something about Haiti recently, how like... 80% of the country is overrun with organized crime or something like that. Well, I was it's, like, getting to, it's getting to the point where the president of Haiti or prime minister or whatever is like, yeah, I'm resigning. I, fuck this shit. Uh, I, I need some help. Uh, with what? Ooh, tourist trap. Eat them. Eat them. Eat, Eat them. them. It gives you health. Eat them. Eat them, Boca. <laughs> Eat them, bulk them. I'm just all about eat eat all of the food, eat all of the people. Eat the people. Punch the fucking punch the fucking helicopters, punch the, the fucking rocketeers. The rocketeer Edinburgh. Yeah, They're it's hilarious actually. On uh on Valentine's Day, uh the uh Quest sixty four uh Twitter account posted a uh thing shipping uh the guy from quest 64 with the uh scientist lady from uh rampage oh so that's really weird that we played one game right after the other there yeah kind yeah serendipitous yeah serendipity doo -dah, Actually, dippity day there was a guy on the toilet if, oh yay and he's if really the good next day. game yeah. isn't an absolute banger this one this one is is going to be the best of show Oh, uh, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to top Rampage World Tour, dude. Yeah. Um, um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, nom, nom. Get in my mouth. Um, nom, nom. Or no, it's Lizzie. Lizzie's a female character. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, nom, nom. I'm Jennifer Coolidge. Hang on a second. Why did you make Lizzie shout like Jennifer Coolidge? Oh, I want to. Oh I want to eat a human being real bad. I just wanna. I want a human dick inside my mouth. I'm gonna destroy this building with my huge breasts. 
My, oh my. my sexual appetite can't be quenched, so I'm going to destroy the world. Is there... Are but, there any random 21-year-old men that want to get with this sexy grandma? Se Let's just say grandmother why is, is that? grandmothering. Why, yeah. why is that? Why could that be a fucking Spinal Tap song? Sex grandma. Sex grandma. Sex grandma. This next song is called Sex Grandma. I'm on fire. Oh yeah, careful. The 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 Ed 209's got flaming Cheetos. Yep. Yeah. Totally. Totally got flaming Cheetos. I think that's but more the, more the reason I should that, try to uh, eat it. <laughs> yeah, you could jump on the spaceship bit. and uh, yeah. use the spaceship as a weapon. Maybe. Yeah, you could jump on the spaceship and use it to kill things. Maybe I can. Use it to kill that. I know, I know you can do it. I've done it before. I'm a fucking rocket ship. I punched it. Oh shit. Oh yeah. yeah. A fucking rocket ship. A rocket ship. Hey, a rock if you ship. don't believe, oh, if you don't believe oh, in yourself, you're a fucking rose. cowboy. <laughs> something, something, Cody Rhodes. He's got a head of just the tree. Whoa! <laughs> Where is that referee? He tried to fuck on me. <laughs> Whoa. I still can't believe that that's going to be an achievement in freaking 2K24. <laughs> well, you say gonna, uh, you say gonna be like it, the game isn't already out. It, it is. It is out. Even it's, a, even it's a time a, that we're recording. It's out. That. Achievement is called "Where Is That Rep?" Uh, yes. Yeah. Clearly, they couldn't say he tried to fuck on me. Yeah, no, you can't fuck on anybody in two K twenty four. Trust me, I, I've tried. No. <laughs> Barn. I tried to My fuck. Well, I, I tried to fuck on Liv Morgan. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sh sh I'm sure she's just like, guys. I know you're busy, but can you, like, can you like, can you like let me move a little bit? Like, I I'm tired of being your bed. Mm -hmm. I'm not. It's what I pay you for. Wouldn't that be weird if just, like, all of a sudden, myself and my boyfriend and, and using John Cena as a table? And it's like, right on. Naked at the Oscars. Okay. Well, there was a... Okay. <coughs> John Cena was naked at the Oscars, and it's not some kind of Illuminati thing. It was actually a protest. It's true. Like a costumer's union or a costumer's guild? They're on strike. Good for them. Yeah, uh, that's that's the whole thing with John Cena being naked was, uh, yeah, you, you're naked without us, the costumers. Uh, yeah, guild. he was doing it in solidarity, which I thought was yeah. was adorable. Good guy, Cena. Anyway, uh, thoughts on Rampage World Tour Dane? A very good game. Like I said, it's it's much better <laughs> as co-op, but it's still very fun. Um, single player, I highly recommend this game. Jason. Yes, uh, I echo that sentiment. This is uh, a very good multiplayer game. Great for two people, even better for three people. Um, highly recommended. Ashley. I like it. It's good with a partner. It's good by <laughs> yourself. It's a good time waster. It. I mean, it's. I want more. Uh, Billy. Giant kaiju monster destroying cities. I'm down. Yeah, this is a whole hell of a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's mindless fun, which is the best kind of fun in my opinion. Uh, you just go around destroying things. Uh, it's a it's it's a great game. I love Rampage. Scores out of ten, Dane. Dane. Jason. Ten. Ashley. Ten. Billy. Ten. That's a 10 for me, dog. First 5-10 game on the show. Because oh, you know, it doesn't happen I, often I that we have everybody on the cast on the show at the same time. So, 
I've thought about this too, and like, it would be really easy to bring this freaking franchise back as a roguelite experience. Mm. Just have it procedurally generated. You know? Like, certain cities oh, obviously yeah. have certain landmarks. We have two Vitas, just but... so you know. I'm just going to put that out there. Oh, oh no. no. Titus. That could be one of a few games. Virtual <laughs> VO. Um, uh... right. Yeah, Billy says veto. It's got to be unanimous. Please, veto. Veto, veto, yeah, veto. Yeah, sure, why not? Dane? Yeah, veto. Okay, that leaves, leaves us with one. I had a feeling that would be vetoed. I, I just don't want to play chess, <laughs> period. <laughs> if I want to play chess, I'll play it for real. I don't want to play chess because I suck at chess. They, they usually can't find ways of making it interesting. No. Not in video games. There was maybe one way. One way that they made chess interesting, and it was with Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Okay, so... But here's the thing. You picked characters. This will definitely be better. As as separate pieces. And when There we you, go. Uh, we were seeing advertising you, for this last time. Yep. When you made uh when you made moves and you uh attacked a piece, even if the piece was technically supposed to be superior to you, you still did a Mortal Kombat match and you could still do like a fatality and shit and win. So that was the only way they made chess interesting. Now, this was uh, this was before they turned San Francisco Rush into basically just another cruising game. San Francisco Rush away. My name is George. George the. And I got that day twenty years to in fucking. My name is George. George Clinton. Boo boo boo. I got thirty eight degrees in fucking. That's that is masterful. Yeah. Like if you have thirty eight degrees in the art of of coupling, fucking. like coupling. you cannot be that. She said coupling, which is fucking uh, just a polite way of saying fucking. It's dangerous. I bet she said fucking. I was gonna be like, shut the, shut the fuck up. Maybe I, maybe I don't want to say the f word. Maybe I want to use other fuck, uh, fuck, versions fuck. of fuck, the fuck, 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 fuck. You know, people have often accused me of vulgarity, but I say that's bullshit. You know, Mel Brooks. Yeah. Some motherfucking people just have no motherfucking manners. Thanks, Sam Jackson. It's true. <laughs> he is. He 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 led to one of the funniest SNL moments in recent years. From a sketch called "What's Up with That," where he didn't know the premise of the sketch, and it's like. We want to thank Samuel L. Jackson. He's like, man, fuck you. Damn it. This is bullshit. Damn, Damn it. Man. Stop it. It costs hey, money. <sighs> like, thank you, Samuel L. Jackson. And thank you, Keenan Thompson. As, Ke- as Keenan Thompson is currently in his 78th season of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> who, would, who would have ever thought? One of the guys from all that would have the longevity record. I know, right? It's so weird. It's like there's Keenan Thompson, there's Daryl Hammond. Uh, technically, Daryl Hammond, Hammond originally had the longevity record. Technically, he, technically, he still does. If you if you want to be on a technicality, because he's the announcer right now, because he replaced Don Pardo when well, Don Pardo died. When Don Pardo and then, of course, Fred Armisen's got like 11 years, and I think Steph Myers has like over a decade. I but think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keenan, Keenan, 
Keenan's Keenan, been there for Keenan. twenty. I think uh, I think Tim Meadows also was up there. Yeah, he was like on. He was there for like ten or fifteen years. But I, I yeah, yeah so. Keenan's got the record now. I think he's been there for twenty or some odd years. Really? Wow. Yeah. He's been there since like oh four, oh five. Maybe even longer than that. <laughs> Ooh, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, Michael Rapper, Paul, Paul, Paul. Wow. It's Saturday Night Live with Keenan Thompson. Keenan Thompson. Jackson. With Adam Keenan Sandler. Keenan Thompson and Dre. Andy Samberg. Adam Sandler. Sandy Amber. Salamander, Colonel Sanders, Gap Toothington. <laughs> oh, no. That's one of my favorite whitest kid you know sketches. <laughs> and Charles Rocket, who wants to know who the fuck did it? <laughs> Jenny Slade, who fucking uh, loves you for that? <laughs> Colonel Sanders, fuck y'all. And Norma Jenny Donald, Slade, I think, was on one season and because she fired. accidentally said fuck, she got fired. He got fired because he kept on doing OJ Simpson jokes. That's true, yeah. I think Ebersol well, didn't oh, take yeah, the, of that. Yeah, yeah. Michael McDonald. Not Michael McDonald. Norma Norma McDonald. McDonald. I was never on that show. What well, the 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 world. World. Or he, she could have been referring to Michael McDonald from Mad TV. No! no. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no. The like fact, that she was... the fucking fact that Dane and I did that at the exact same time. No. <laughs> no. Proves that you guys are literally, like, you guys I think are Dane, Lavender I, I'm brothers. starting to believe that Dane and I are the same person. <laughs> we might be. Check, game over. Game over, my dick. This place isn't bad. If I wasn't in second, what are you talking about? Look at this. It says first. Yeah. Oh. Fucking four, bitch. But why did it say game over? It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Because there was only one track, I guess. Just one yeah. race. Yeah, one race. It's Saturday Night Live with Victoria Jackson, who became a whack job right winger. Karma Norner. Carmen Arnar. I love Carmen Arnar. Oh, Hartman. Man. This oh, one's for you, homie. Friend. Ashley talking over Jace's Joe. Party Big Stink I, Whistle. I apologize. I didn't hear it. Saturday Night Live. Starring Gilbert Gottfried. He was on That's, the show for yeah. one season. It, That's right, Peter. Yep. He was on the show for one season. Julia Louis Dreyfus. That's right, Peter. She was on the show for actually three years apparently. Robert Downey Jr. That's right, Peter. Before he became a fucking drug addict, he was on the <laughs> show. <laughs> well, you know, he technically, did. technically speaking. He is now the first Oscar winner who was on. He was a cast member on Saturday. Uh, who else is a little known? Oh, Anthony Michael Hall. I was just about to say that. Yeah, Anthony Michael Hall was on the season, with, wasn't he? With yeah. Chris Elliott. He's, uh, Anthony Michael Hall is the youngest ever SNL cast member because he was 17. Uh, Tim Robinson? Gary Kroger. Gary <laughs> Kroger. He's, he's, he's the guy that goes, I didn't do fucking shit. Martin with, Short. With Ben Stiller. There was a lot of people that were on just for like I know, it's, one it's really weird. It's really yeah, weird they got real the famous. People, yeah, the number of people that were on there for like a very short period of time. And people don't remember that they were on there. But they became big stars. And hey, how about that one season that Billy Crystal was there? Yeah. It's true. Mom. I still think one of the wee- most, like, one of the most weeaboo things. things. So I thought you were going to say. 
the fact that uh, Kel Mitchell auditioned at the same time as Keenan. Yeah. And apparently Kel they Mitchell. looked at Kel Mitchell and went, ah. Kel Mitchell is a, is a pastor. Well, oh, here's, here, here's another one that you didn't realize is on Saturday. Damon Wayans. Who got fired? Yeah, for making he was there. Gay he got fired for doing a gay character, for interpreting a character as gay that wasn't supposed to be gay. Hey, and hey, look at this. Christopher Guest was a, on for one season. Yes. Right after oh Damon got fired from what? SNLs when they started uh, In Living Color as well. So. In Living Color. In Living Color. You can do what you which, want. Which allowed them to... Uh, Jumpstart uh, Jim Carrey's career. Yep. Oh, Just yeah. think about it. If I'm... Damon Wayans hadn't have, uh, played a character on SNL effeminately and gotten fired, Jim Carrey might not have had the career that he had. Jim Carrey actually did the last season of SNL around the time that Ace Ventura and all those movies were blowing up. And he did the last season as a thank you to them because he's like, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have be where I am today. So, when you say I SNL, there. you mean in Living Color, right? As I said in Living Color. Yeah, you said SNL, but I know what you meant. Whatever. I knew what you meant. His, um, his <laughs> uh, when he played Vanilla Ice, and that one skit, that was the uh, that, that was the skit that made him popular. But yeah, Dane, Dane is correct. Jim Carrey could have split before season five of uh, In Living Color and didn't. Even though he was super busy doing movies at that time, I was gonna say to be fair, he really doesn't show up that much in his fifth season. Yeah, no, because he's busy filming. I think he was filming Ace Ventura One at that point. Oh wait a minute, I forgot somebody with Lori Metcalf. Yeah, she was on one episode uncredited. No, she was credited. Never mind. Yeah, but she was on one episode. Lori Metcalf. Lori She's Metcalf. Uh, Jackie yeah. on Roseanne. Oh my God! Yeah, she did for. She's in like literally one episode of SNL ever. The one thing I've come to understand about SNL is that it's not. It's not what. It's not funny. No, it's not anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, that's... it's not very occasionally. It's, not the end all... it's like weekend it's update is funny, but that's pretty much it. Like we, Michael Che and Colin Jost are funny in a weekend doing weekend uh, updates. Uh... That's pretty much it. It's I mean, not, like... when you think about it, they audition people for a sketch comedy show on stand up. Yeah. What what kind of weird trick for freaking getting people for a sketch comedy show is that? Well, why can't we have good, wholesome Canadian sketch comedy like Kids in the Hall again? Okay, I, I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> oh, no. I was trying to formulate a response, hall. but my brain's not working fast enough. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm really tired. Kids in the Hall and SNL are almost one and the same because they are done by Broadway video. Hey, remember that also, one year that Mark McKinney was on the show? Yeah. And that was right after Kids in the Hall ended, too. Because he was working. He was working. I mean, Lauren Michaels did both shows, so that's not really a surprise. What's your name? Yep. We're going to ignore where it said fifth place because I'm in first, as you can clearly see. No. You can do I beat, I beat Dirty Monkey. Thoughts on San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing, Dane? Eh, it wasn't too bad. Um, racing games could be very hit or miss. This one was more right in the middle. It wasn't <laughs> a hit, but it wasn't a miss. Either. Jason. You know, they didn't find their uh, groove until they started really copying Cruisin' with, like, freaking Rush 2049. Um, I mean, like... There's still, like, at least two more cruising games 
before Rush like eclipsed Cruisin' as the go-to franchise. And even then, at that point, Burnout soon became like the arcade racer that everybody wanted to be. So, yeah, this is like we have Cruisin' at home. Ashley. It seems a little clunky, a little blocky. The music is a bop, though. Like that. But it's still no dead. Oh, no. Let's go away. Billy. Marking golf. <laughs> what? Billy says, blah, 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 blah. And that's his thoughts. Wow. Uh, yeah, I standard. Like I was hearing that, I heard Billy. Standard racing game. Uh, nothing too special. Scores out of 10, Dane. Six. Jason. Six. Ashley. Mm, five. Billy. Twelve. Uh, I'll give it a three. On this episode, we played Quest 64, Rampage World Tour, and San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. Best game of the episode, Dane. Rampage World Tour. Jason. Quest 64. Oh. No. No. It's got to be freaking Rampage. (laughs) Ashley. (laughs) Rampage. Uh, Billy. Jacob Super Boobs. Uh, I'll pick um, (laughs) Rampage World Tour. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune, Jason Amherst, Ashley Miller, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time.